My first husband worked for the BBC. I doubt if anyone there remembers him now. Another long, dead, diligent administrator. Thank you, Betty. He would have been useful to them now, you know. He was involved in the fight to preserve the BBC's independence during the Suez Crisis. One of the few things he was passionate about. Thanks. No, Black's fine, thank you. I became involved, too. I started work on a book that would have been published on the 10th anniversary of Suez, but then he died and I lost the will to write it. By the time I was over his death, other books had been published and it wasn't worth going on. What a shame. Oh, it wasn't much more than a pot boiler. Suez was very important to our generation and I didn't want it forgotten. And that's why I'd like to be able to help you. But really, Mr. Penfield, I was looking through my notes before you came. They're all very much out of date. There's been so much written since. I don't think I'm your man. I am a great admirer of yours. I read all your books on chartism while I was still at school. See, I'm a journalist, not a historian. And there are questions of, well, approach, method. I see. Are you a socialist, Mr. Penfield? Yes. Oh, good. Zoe's was a minefield for both parties. <laughs> 